Hello everyone, this time I'm going to show you how to profile a contour operation. It's the most required and the most one used in standard CNC. So let's open up our standard file here. This is the part we're working on. We will profile around. So first time also here let's say I'm in the workbench pass and you need a job for here it's the body I take the fusion the fusion is, is the part itself here it asks me for the boundary the outbounds what this is basically the stock material I will leave the standards okay inside the job there are the tools I use the standard tool just here for the video I go 400 400 and 100 and that's the, the speed of the tool 8000 and the tool itself is a 2.4 millimeter cutter the standard one used mostly for hobbyists so let's do this you have here a lot of variations to create a contour contour of the whole basement contour from a face that would be selecting this face or contour uh, go back go back or contour from a edge if you select the edge I take this one there's another icon appearing and it says complete loop so if I hit this it completes the loop as guessed from the system and now we walk on this one okay so profile from edge the depths as always in everything I start from zero then go down minus three this is the pot size and go down by one millimeter this is also set by the default here but I will give the numbers to it so the heights the heights is standard five millimeter clearance and safety is two millimeter about the bounding box so three this is okay it should be you can do whatever you want now go to the contour it's a guess uh, you, we are inside no we want to use outside we go clockwise the par the, the mill is spinning this will be a climb if we go counterclockwise it will be a conventional version so clockwise extra offset nothing and use compensation go for it there's our tool pass so you see it's right inside here so it will start up there let's give it a start point okay you can use a start point and I will go down there there we are down in the ground there is the start point I'm now adding it's for uh, 48 millimeters wide 49.2 as the tool has a radius on at 1.2 so and in Y let's take the middle around 25 so there we are and let's simulate it as you see it goes straight into the material some may don't like this I have to undo this and just select the profile you made right mouse click there are dress ups as it's now off screen I use pass pass dress up 
and I would like to use lead in lead out there are a lot of other knives uh, like track knife or so or ramping so it's standard gives me uh, arc rotation in and arc rotation out you have some options here down there you can add to uh, tangent so straight in straight out I will leave it there you have some offsets you can also add machine use machine uh, CRC or keep tool down is a nice offset keep tool down through and then it will rough wrap it outside here to the new start point if you say uh, false it will always move out and normally feed in so let's get it through and now we're simulating this one so you see it's coming from outside and it's going outside it's better for the tool so this is basically what we did on profiling operations you will find out yourself what's going on